Here's our Tuesday talk for January 19th, 2021. So, as promised, today's Tuesday talk is going to be me answering all of your questions. I'm going to move so I'm not like in the light. There we go. All right. So I'm going to answer all your questions that you guys have posted. There's a lot of them, so I'm going to get right to it. Um, these were posted on Google Classroom. And um, yeah, I think you guys did a great job. If I missed anybody's questions, I apologize. We'll do more of these later. There were a lot of repeat questions, so I tried to go through and write them down. And um, kind of compiled them so I didn't repeat myself. Um, I'll probably still repeat myself. If um, there's anybody that posted this morning and I may have missed your questions, um, like I said, we'll try to do this again sometime. I'm always trying to get to know you guys better. Hopefully this helps you get to know me a little better. Those of you that are not in school right now and I miss seeing you, you know, um, maybe this gives you more of a connection to what we're doing here. Here we go. So, this is kind of fun. What is your favorite color and why? I don't really have a favorite color. I have like a color palette I like to wear. I just, um, I never, I just, I like lots of colors and I like certain colors together and I never really chose a favorite color. Um, I will say that I have a lot of navy blue in my closet. I like navy blue. Um, I look good in green and, um, you know, today I'm wearing school colors, red, black, and white. So I don't have a favorite color. Sorry. What made you want to become a music teacher? I got a lot of questions like this. Um, I love music. <laughs> that's the, that's like the biggest, um, catalyst for my life decisions, I guess, but I love music and I like kids a lot too. And so putting the two together, music teacher, um, there was a lot of other things that kind of went into that decision-making process also. Um, but um, the main things are that I love the subject that I teach. I love music. And I really like working with um, young people. And um, I love middle school age. Not a lot of people do, but I think that you guys are the bee's knees. And I like teaching um, your age group. And um, music is everything. And so, um, yeah, it just, the two went hand in hand. What did you want to do before deciding to be a music teacher? Now there's like different various levels of this question that I got asked. Um, well, I think like a lot of music teachers, I started out as more of a performer and I wanted to perform and I wanted to, um, you know, be on Broadway and do all that kind of thing. And, um, those are, those are, those are, that's really what got me started is those ideas of, 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 um, performing. And I loved being on the stage from a young age. I really, really have loved, um, being a part of, of plays and musicals. And, um, you know, then when I got older playing instruments and, and, um, singing, um, solo stuff and things like that. So performing, um, is something, honestly, I always thought I wanted to do. And, um, that's something that I definitely wanted to do before deciding to be a music teacher. What is your background in music? I was in my first musical when I was five. I think someone asked that later and go into that later. Um, but, um, when I was two or three, my parents put me in a talent show and I sang, hello, my baby. And then, um, I started playing, you know, I took piano lessons when I was younger and um, then flute when I got into fourth grade band at school and um, seventh grade, I got to do the high school musical needed a few more people or whatever. And she let a couple of us junior high, middle school people be in the high school musical. And that was cool. So um, I got hooked and um, that's seventh grade. I sang my first solo too in our, um, in our chorus concert in the spring, I sang my funny Valentine was my first solo. And, um, yeah, that's what my background in music is. And I add uh, why I wanted to do it. And then I went to college obviously, which is another question later on. And I can, I'll talk more about that. In fact, that's my next question. What college or university did you go to? 
Uh, did you go to college? Yes, I did go to college. I actually have I actually have two master's degrees. Um, so I kept going to college, but I um, uh, my undergrad, my bachelor's degree is I have a bachelor of arts in music education, and I went to Edinburgh University up, um, in Erie County, where it snows a lot. I will be honest, it wasn't my first choice of, choice of schools, but I ended up really liking it. I was originally going to go to Berklee College of Music in Boston, and um, it just didn't work out. Um, I had my schedule, I had a roommate, I had everything. I'm so excited. Um, and I didn't get to go. It, it was just, it, there were some family issues that happened and, you know, life happens and you have to be willing to change plans. And that's what I did. And so um, I didn't get to go to Boston and I went to Edinburgh and I was all, I'm going to get out of here in like a semester or two. I'm going to transfer anyway. It doesn't matter. I loved it. I was hooked. I got to meet great people and do great things. And so I'm glad I went to Edinburgh and um, I studied music education. And when you study music education, there's also, you basically also study music performance. And so um, I got to do a lot of things I never thought I would do. Like I was in an opera and um, I, I was the drum major of the college marching band. And I got to do um, a lot of things that I never thought I would do, but I got to do because I went to kind of a smaller school um, where I had a lot of opportunities. So uh, and then I got my master's degree online, actually. Uh, what is your favorite music artist, song, or music genre? That's another one like color. Um, that's hard. I listen to a lot of different things. I have very eclectic tastes in music. Um, right now, I, I usually make a playlist for every month. And when I walk um, in the evenings or the afternoons, I listen to that music for that month. Right now, I have a lot of Andrew Bird on my playlist. I don't know if you guys know who Andrew Bird is. You should check him out. He's really good. Um, some Fiona Apple. Um, that's going back to an earlier time a little bit. But um, I like 80s music. I like to like kind of rock out to some 80s pop music. Um, uh, I have some Dua Lipa on there and um, I, uh, some uh, The Weeknd. So there's just like very eclectic, different stuff. And then I have some Mumford and stuff. It's very different. It's like a jukebox. Um, I like a lot of different music and a lot of different styles. <sighs> My favorite song right now might be there's a song by Andrew Bird called Bloodless. I really like that song. So you can go listen to that on your own. When did you decide that you wanted to be a music teacher? That's tricky because um, it was always in the back of my mind that that's something I could do, um, that I would like to do. I, I Like I said, I love music. I like young people. I like, I like teaching. I like um, those aha moments where you're trying to convince, you know, help somebody with something and all of a sudden they, they get it. That's, that's, that's awesome. So I always knew in the back of my mind, um, you know, I wanted, I always thought I would, you know, somehow become that person that made it to Broadway or made it to, you know, some kind of performance venue. But I always knew that I could teach if I, if I wanted to do that. Um, but then in college, and in my junior year of high school, my uh, our musical director actually um, had to leave um, because her husband um, was getting a kidney transplant and she was going to be gone for the two weeks before the show. And she put me in charge as a junior in high school. And part of me was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And part of me was like, yes. Um, and I really liked that. So um, I liked organizing the rehearsals and running the rehearsals and directing scenes that hadn't been done yet um, because we had a lot of snow that year and everything. We were behind and it was fun. And then, um, you know, in college, I got experiences to go out, like just like I had a pre-student teacher the other week. I got to go out and do things like that. And being in the classroom was like magical. I loved it. I loved working with young people and I loved, um, you know, teaching them things that I was interested in too. And um, I got hooked. I love, I love teaching. What can I say? Uh, but how many years 
of schooling did you have? Four years um, in my undergrad, and I actually got a minor in humanities. So I was on campus for four years, and then I student taught the next fall, graduated. And then it took me about a year and a half to get um, each of the master's degrees that I have. One is in middle level education, and one is in curriculum. Uh, did you ever think about becoming something other than a music teacher? What other things did you think about? Oh, there's been many times that I thought, I wonder if I could do that, you know? Um, you know, like I said, performing was always something I loved to do when I was younger. Um, now I think about it, I really like technology things and I could see myself doing something with like educational technology. Um, but you know, the, it's, it's always focused around either music or theater or um, even technology, the type of technology I would, I would wanna get into is focused around education. If you weren't a music teacher, what would you be doing? Like I just said, um, in a dream world, I would be performing, um, not right now because of COVID, but, um, or I would, you know, I go work for Google or something, who knows? Um, <laughs> if you could teach any other subject of music, what would you teach? I love history. History was outside of music and theater. History was my favorite subject. I am a big history nerd. I love um, trivia kind of stuff. I love, I love like presidential history. I love to, um, you know, learn about other cultures. I won my sixth grade geography B, so maybe social studies. Um, uh, I knew I was never going to win a spelling bee, but I could, I can tell you what countries are. So, um, but I probably teach social studies or history. How long have you been a music teacher? A long time. Have you performed in a school musical? If so, how many times and which ones? Back to the, I feel like that was like, I told you I'd be honest and answer anything. This is my 20th year at the middle school. And this is the only school I've ever taught at. So right out of college, basically, I went to work here at the middle school. Have you performed in a school musical? If so, how many times and which ones? My first musical was um, Annie. I played a character named Molly. And I remember um, I had to fake cry. And that was really fun because I was five. And I don't remember much else about it. I remember playing cards backstage. And I remember um, I remember singing It's a Hard Knock Life and wearing sponges on my knees for the choreography, which, you know, flashbacks to Willy Wonka and uh, shout out to all of my Oompa Loompas out there. But um, I, it was Annie was my first show and I was hooked and um, I've been in or directed close to 60 shows since then. Um, a lot. Right before sh the shutdown and everything, I was on my fifth show back to back that I was directing. I haven't been on stage in about five years, five and a half. Um, the last show I was in is, was called Grey Gardens, and I played the Edies. And um, it's a great part. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But um, I've done a lot of shows. Um, I've directed everything from um, Godspell, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, to Sweeney Todd. Um, a lot of shows. And I've, I've done a lot of community theater. When I was younger, I did summer stock theater, which is an equity um, theater, which means uh, they pay you. So um, I was in Oliver for an entire summer. So I did like something insane, like 64 shows of Oliver or something. And um, yeah, I love theater, love musical theater, especially. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Did you have a job when you were in school and where was it? I worked at a place called Hilltop Floral. My parents owned it. Uh, Hilltop Floral and greenhouses. There were 17 greenhouses and lots of plants being grown and mums and 
things that you plan outside and, uh, you know, in the spring and poinsettias at Christmas time. And um, back when I had to do it, I complained a lot and I didn't always like it. And now I really miss it. I miss the smell of the greenhouses and just like how pretty everything is when it's in bloom. And it was, it was, it was a good job. It was a really, it was a really good job to have as a younger person. Uh, what is your favorite college basketball team? And then another one, favorite football team. I don't really follow college sports. Um, I really like basketball and football. If I'm watching, like if I'm watching it, if it's on, I'll watch it. If I go to a game, I cheer really loud and lose my voice. It's a problem I have. Um, but, um, when I was in college, like I said, I was drum major. That's the conductor person of my college marching band for two years. And so I went to a lot of football games. I had to pay attention because I needed to know when the band should play. And, um, you don't want them to play all the time. Um, I also played in a pep band in, um, college for basketball games and I really liked basketball games. I love basketball games when I was in high school um, too. I just don't really have any college teams that I root for. My family has a lot of a weird mix of Notre Dame and Penn State fans. And so they buy us all merchandise that either say Notre Dame or Penn State. So I have some of that stuff. I don't really root for any college teams so much. Um, go fill in the blank, whoever you want. Why do you like music? What got you into liking music? Um, my family's pretty musical. Um, I'm the oldest of four kids and my mom plays the piano and sings and she would always be singing. She'd wake us up singing very loud. And that's how we woke up. Um, my dad sings. Um, they both sang in like our church choir growing up. Um, my dad has a really pretty Irish tenor kind of voice. Um, my brother and my sisters, well, I have a brother and two sisters. We all sang. We, um, all played some kind of instrument growing up too. And, um, uh, we were all in orchestra or band or both in chorus and everything. So the musical family, and I just kind of I don't know. Music is like breathing to me. It's just something that is, um, you need. Um, it's never not been a part of my life. So, um, I can't imagine my life without it. So it's just always been really special and important. What do you like most about teaching chorus? My students. What is your opinion on reptiles? This was my favorite question. What is your opinion on reptiles? Okay, so if I'm like outside, because I walk in the woods, if I'm outside on one of my walks and I see a snake, I'm like, cool, that's a snake. I like snakes. Cool. If I was in my house and this has happened to me because I have a big stone fireplace and it has like vents in between some of the stones and a snake came out one time this summer and it slithered in between two rocks and I lost my mind. I went crazy. I was like, ah. I plugged up all the holes with towels to protect myself for like a month and I didn't see the snake again. I don't want them in my house. That's my feeling on reptiles. Outside, they're really cool though. Outside, I'm like, yeah, nice reptile. All right. Uh, what is your dog? What is your favorite dog breed? Most of you know I'm kind of obsessed with wanting a dog. I love dogs. I, lo I just, They're so a dog will love you no matter what. Um, and when I'm walking and I come across a dog, it's a good walk. It's my, it's the best. Um, I don't have a dog though. I don't have a dog. And it used to be, I didn't have a dog because I was never home to take care of the dog. And now it's just like, um, I'm afraid when life gets back to how it was, I'm going to go back to never being home to take care of the dog. So, um, I'm going back and forth. I want a dog. Like that is like a major goal of mine is like someday I'll have a dog. Um, it's a discussion. There are certain people in my house who do not like dogs apparently, which I just found out and it broke my heart a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to have a dog someday. I do have three cats and I love my cats, but you can't take cats on walks. The cats are more like for sitting and they'll sit by you or on you. You can't go outside and have fun with them. They're not going to like Look your face and be happy to see you. They're more like, feed me and then I'll leave you alone for hours. How many instruments can you play? Well, or can I play? I can play a lot of instruments. Eh, you're not going to want to really like hear it for a long time. Um, 
discipline that can help you learn them though. Because when you learn to teach, be a music teacher, you have to pass proficiency on all the band instruments. And so um, when I was in college, I did that. I did really well at it. And um, I've taught chorus since then. So I'm a little out of shape. Um, I could play the flute very well because that was my main instrument um, besides voice. Um, and I played since fourth grade. I started piano lessons at, when I was like four and I loved piano until I was like 12 and then I hated piano. Now I can boom chick, as I say, um, pretty well. And I can, if I have to play a piece, I can learn a piece and play it. I'm not, I'm not a great pianist and I will never lie about being a great pianist. I know I'm not a great pianist. Um, I much rather like to sing and someone else can play for me. But um, uh, I do I do okay on the clarinet. I do okay on the trumpet as long as it's not too high. Uh, but really, flute. I played violin from sixth grade through college, so I can play violin. Um, violin, flute, piano. But I sing. All right, here we go. Ooh, uh, do you find the most? What do I find the most stressful about being a teacher? Um, I don't know. It depends on the year. Like a year like this, the most stressful thing is just like not seeing everybody and knowing that there's students of mine that I haven't seen all year and I miss them and I don't know, you know, what's going on with them and I hope they're all well. And, um, being shut down last year was very stressful. Knowing we wouldn't get to have our spring concert was very stressful. Um, but like in other years, you know, um, you know, stressful could be, you know, maybe we don't have as much money in the budget to get something I really think we need. Or maybe I, um, which honestly hasn't happened in a long time. We, we've been really, really lucky that we've gotten, I've gotten pretty much everything I wanted for many years now. I'm, I'm a little bit spoiled that way. So I don't want to make it sound like that's a problem because it's not. But, um, you know, just little things that would stress anybody out, directing a show with uh, 117 people and 74 Oompa Loompas and just knowing you don't have enough help backstage and hoping they're not burning the school down, things like that. But for the most part, um, the things that I can't control, we'll put it that way, the things that I can't control and have no control over, those are the most stressful things because I'm a control freak. Okay. Uh, was being a music teacher your dream job all along? Not all along. I mean, you know, the dream job was lights on Broadway, you know, and, and my name, my face up there. Um, but I really like it. This job I have right now, this teaching job is my dream teaching job. I, and I know it's the only one I've ever had, but I don't think there's any possible way I could find a better job teaching than the one I have right now. Are you where you thought you would be in life when you were in high school? I don't know where I thought I would be in life when I was in high school. Um, I was such a daydreamer and my head was in the clouds. And I think I think me, me in high school, so me now, she'd be really happy. Um, I hope she would, I think she would. What was the first play you were ever in? The first play I was ever in was Annie. Um, the last play that I was in was Grey Gardens. Did you always teach at DAMS? Yeah, this is the only school I've ever had a full-time job at. I subbed um, up in St. Mary's um, a few times, um, the, like half a year between graduating and, because I graduated in December, graduating and getting the job here. But for the most part, I've only taught at Dubois. What was the first instrument you ever played? Piano. When was the first time you played the flute? Fourth grade. I was horrible, like horrible. I was like last chair until seventh grade. And then I started this thing called practicing. It's crazy. You should try it. And um, I started practicing and I went boom, right up to the top and uh, never looked back. Um, it's magical practicing is. What job did you want to do when you were at elementary school? Okay, so I went through this phase like third, fourth, fifth grade, especially fifth grade, I wanted to be an astronaut. Like I wanted to be an astronaut really, really badly. I wanted to be an astronaut. I think just because we were just starting to learn about space um, in school and just have science classes. And I loved learning about space. But like what I didn't know then as a fifth grader was that like, um, I'm kind of afraid of heights. I get motion sickness very easily. And um, not 
math is not my strongest subject and you have to be good at all those things to be an astronaut. Fun fact, um, my high school boyfriend now works for NASA. Um, obviously we didn't make it past high school, but um, he now works for NASA. So he made it, he made it, he's not an astronaut, he builds robots. All right, uh, what is your favorite thing about teaching? The students. What do you do to fight stress? I walk a lot. I, I take care of myself. I didn't used to, but I started to during quarantine. I journal, I have a fun journal here. Um, it's a really funny title. It's on my piano if you ever look at it. Um, but it has quotes every day. And um, I try to read more than I used to and take time for myself. And um, like I said, get a lot of fresh air and get outside and really walk. And uh, I take a lot more time for myself than I used to and I feel a lot better for it. What is your favorite movie? This is kind of like the color and the song. I like movies. I like movies a lot. I'm about to have second period, but I like movies a lot. I have to say that my favorite movies are ones that I still quote with my siblings that we would walk, watch like a million times growing up. And so like Princess Bride and Clue are probably my two favorite movies because um, they're really special to um, my family. Comment below with some, anything you were surprised to hear, or if you have a new question that like one of my answers brought up, or if you just want to um, comment on something I talked about, um, you can do that. I hope you enjoyed our question answer session. This is probably our longest Tuesday talk ever. So um, I should warn you beforehand to like pack a lunch or something before you watched it. I hope you're all well. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.